today we are in Gatlinburg, Tennessee, and we are standing in front of the Log Cabin Pancake House. This place has been around since 1976 and has great reviews. Now I'm going to head in here and get some buckwheat cakes. You normally don't see those on the menu. And anybody that watches this channel knows that I like buckwheat cakes because I grew up in a town that has a buckwheat festival. They switch it up in here a little bit, put some pineapple on it. So let's head in and see what this place is all about. So are you ready, Bobby? Ready. Let's rock and roll. Let's rock and roll. Another benefit to coming here for breakfast, you got all this free parking and you do not find that. Pretty good size parking lot. Has a jewelry store here, right there. Parking for log cabin pancake house. All others will be towed. Let's take a look at the log cabin pancake house menu. It's kind of dark in here, so hopefully I can see this. Start off with the breakfast specialties. Have some country fresh eggs, country ham. Some other ones on that side. All you can eat biscuits and gravy. Junior and senior plate. There are your omelets. Has some different waffles to choose from. Chicken and waffles. And if you don't want any pancakes, there's a no pancake special. Here are the different sides that they have. Special treat pancakes and French crepes. There's buckwheat pancakes, cabin special, which I'm gonna get. Apple crepes, pecan pancakes. It's a whole assortment. Pigs in a blanket, blueberry crepes. They have some sandwiches and different items for lunch if you want to come in here and get lunch. There's a chuck wagon sandwich. Fresh fruit plate, chef salad, your choice of any two. And here are the sides. And here are your beverages. And they have a kids menu also in here. It's a Tuesday morning around 10 o'clock. We're not expecting this many people in here. I'll try to go around and show you some of it. The place is very pretty. Look how tall it is. Let's just take a peek around this side. There's just so many people in here, guys. Look at all this. And the other side has about as much seating as this side does. It's just as big. Let's get started. There is the cabin special. Buckwheat cakes with crushed pineapple and whipped butter. Threw a cherry on there. We ordered a piece of sugar ham. Normally at these places you get country ham. They have sugar here. Here is Bobby's Caribbean pancakes, which consist of bananas in the batter, bananas on top, have some pecans, powdered sugar, and coconut, and also some whipped butter. Let's get started. Now the syrup is nice and warm, and John asked, and they do make this here. I'm gonna just drizzle it all there. Very pretty. Does make you feel like you could be at the islands, except for we're in a log cabin. Got four nice pieces of the uh, pancake. I'll try to get some banana. All right, so you can see the bananas are also in the pancake. 
it's got the uh, pecans and a little bit of the coconut. To me, it tastes like a, um, a loaf of banana bread. It's very good. Bananas look fresh. Four nice sizes of pancakes, griddled to perfection. All right, guys, let's try these buckwheat pancakes. I'm just gonna cut into them. Man, those are soft. I'm gonna try them without any syrup to see if they are sour or not. First of all, those are not sour. I grew up with sour buckwheat cakes. There's no sourness to those at all. Sometimes buckwheat cakes are bitter. These buckwheat cakes are like the same size of Bobby's. Kind of pick them up. They seem to be falling apart. I didn't know Bobby's falling apart back yet, but let's put some syrup on them and try some of this pineapple with them. The syrup really comes out of there. I want to get a piece over here. All right, now I have crushed pineapple and syrup on these buckwheat cakes. Never had that way before. Now that's a different way for me to eat buckwheat cakes. You get the sweetness from the pineapple, but the texture, when you bite them, they are just so soft. They're melting your mouth, guys. I don't like saying that, but that's what they are. They're melting your mouth. So it is different. So I'm having a hard time telling that these are even buckwheat cakes compared to the regular pancakes because I'm just used to that sour taste. But they are very good. If you've never had buckwheat cakes before and you don't want something that's sour, I would get these. Buckwheat cakes are a lot thinner than regular pancakes. These ones, if you see, are more light and fluffy where these are thinner. Now that is a different texture but they don't taste like the uh, buckwheat cakes that we're used to. They're usually more sour. So they're, they're good, but I'm going with the light and fluffy pancakes, the Caribbean feel. I'm gonna try Bobby's Caribbean pancakes. Got everything on here, some coconut, pecans, and a banana. No, I like Bobby's. You can really taste the banana in that, the sweetness from the coconut. Now that I've tried hers, I can tell a difference between the two batters. I'm just not used to eating buckwheat cakes that have no sourness to them at all. They are very good, but buckwheat cakes are a little bitter and sour, but these are nice and light. The batter that they used was great. I would get these, and the pineapple on there brings that extra dimension that I'm not used to, because where I come from, a lot of people put applesauce on their buckwheat cakes. Let's try some of this sugar ham. It's right here going across. Should be pretty good. It looks nice. Looks kind of like that stuff we buy up in Amish country where it's sliced nice and thin, easy to fry up on the griddle. It's a nice piece of ham. It's not overly sweet, just the right amount of sweetness to it. It's done well. I would like that on a sandwich. I think that would be good with some mayonnaise. Big difference between that and country ham. So I'm going to try this because the other day we had that country ham that was really way too salty. So try the sugar ham. So I definitely like the sugar ham better than the country ham. It's not as salty. It has a really nice flavor, and I agree with you. That would be good on a sandwich. Now this ham was $5.25 to order as a side because you do not get any sides with the pancakes, but you don't really need them. Four good-sized buckwheat cakes, four good-sized pancakes over there, and all that extra fruit on top. And that whipped butter is very good also. Here's our receipts. They're on two separate ones for some reason, but here's Bobby's for $9.50. Here's mine for $8.75 and $5.25 for a grand total of $14. Looks like it's gonna be around $23.50 plus tax. And at one time, they had a buffet in here. That would have been amazing. Also looks like they have some log cabin merchandise range in prices on the sizes. Look how tall the ceiling is in here guys. You just look around, they have like there's a chair sitting up there. Nice theming. Take home some Smoky Mountain honey. The little bears are $7.99. Some jams some taffy. Here's like all their awards that they won. 
All right, let's get down here and check out the front porch. Please, no smoking on the porch. Uh, when we first arrived, we're shooting this after we came out, but it'll probably be in the front of the video. The line was backed out through the doors here. It's approximately 15 minute wait down through here. That's not bad for as big as it is. No, because the line moved really fast, didn't it? It did. What do you like about this porch, Bobby? Well, you know, I like those rocking chairs. I love the hanging plants too. And with all these chairs and benches out here, you know they have some business. Look at that. Remember those? Old stove. You could use some of that heat off of that. Yeah. It was warmer when we first came in here than it is now. This is nice. Kind of see that. No lunch buffet or salad bar being served at this time. Due to cold weather, please keep this door closed. Have the ATM in there. There are your hours. Service animals are welcome. Pets are not allowed. So they have a sign here that starts out that says, you are about to enter an atmosphere where the spirit of bygone years yet lives. And you guys can pause if you want to read this whole thing. This is also on the menu. If you can read it around our shadows. Let me see if I can get it there better. Not the best I can do. I like the lining that they have all through the porch here. We had a big porch at our house when I was growing up and we always had a glider, if anybody remembers those, and a swing and mom always had hanging baskets. It definitely looks like a log cabin, doesn't it? Big windows you can sit in. It's kind of clearing out in there now some. And for the little ones. Oh, that's nice. Okay. Let's go around this side. This probably comes up from the back of the parking lot. It does. This is a big building, guys. Look at the size of this. All the way back. I showed you the inside. There you go. automatic sprinkler system well we just left the log cabin pancake house in gatlinburg what did you think about it i love that wrap around porch with all those rocking chairs and plants on it now when we first got there the line was pretty busy but that's always a good sign isn't it when mm -hmm. you see it that crowded but the line didn't move pretty quickly so don't let that discourage you if you get there and see a lot of people they move you in pretty fast our waitress was mary i enjoyed talking to her she was very friendly now I got the Caribbean pancakes, which had the pecans, coconut, and bananas, and a cherry on top of some powdered sugar. Now it was a little sweet, but they were nice, four size pancakes, nice and fluffy. Not only was there bananas on top of the pancakes, they put banana slices inside the batter. So I really enjoyed it like that, so you were getting double bananas, plus they were a little bit warm, you know, because of the pancakes being griddled. But I really enjoyed that. It reminded me of a banana nut bread. What do you think about their homemade syrup? I, I like that too. You know, I always notice the homemade syrup always seems like it's a little bit thinner hmm. than what you buy in the store. It's always thicker. Now for my meal, I had the buckwheat cakes. I think in there they called it the cabin special because it came with crushed pineapple. Never had buckwheat cakes with pineapple on them before. Now that was completely different for me on the taste because I'm used to sour buckwheat cakes, but they were very good. So you guys who've never had buckwheat cakes before, you're going to thoroughly enjoy those, especially with the uh, pineapple being on top because it was sweetness to that. It had some nice whipped butter. I did enjoy the syrup. So that was a good thing to get. I mean, would I get them again? Yeah, I probably would, but I'm also used to what I grew up on. Uh, we had that piece of ham. It was uh, $5.25 to add on. Very flavorful. It was sugar ham, not the country ham because Bobby can't stand the country ham. Well, it's just it's too salty. I me. like them both. But that had a nice sugary flavor to it, but not overly sweet. So that was a good addition. You could add different sides because the cakes don't come with anything else. It's a lot of stuff there. Like she said, with the four pancakes or buckwheat cakes, that would fill you up. I enjoyed the atmosphere in there. It was very friendly. All the whole staff was friendly in there. I would go back and I see why this place is so popular. Another thing, we left there around 12 o'clock and there wasn't hardly anybody there then. That's when you want to go. Even though that's not breakfast time, it's lunchtime, 
If you want to avoid the crowd, go at that time. Mm -hmm. Now, also with um, buckwheat cakes, they're a lot thinner than mm -hmm. the ones we've had at home. And you said, you know, you like them more sour, or not that a you little, like yeah. them more sour, but your grandmother bit. made them mm -hmm. really sour. But she would do a starter batter, and the other ladies in the area would come and get some of that. And you said what? She let it oh, set for like a week. That was horrible. On the that was buttermilk that sat out <laughs> on there. I mean, I can't remember. I just remember it looked like a big gob of. Uh, <laughs> it was horrible. And she would want me to eat that. And that was so sour, I couldn't even stand it because I don't even drink buttermilk to this day. I will oh, I eat like the that. ranch, but I can't stand buttermilk itself. But those were nothing like that. Back where I live and grew up, I like them a little, a little sour, but not much. They taste completely different than these, but mm -hmm. these were very flavorful. And I would get these again if I went in there. If I think about it, we'll have to put it in the description because we have a video where we went to the Buckwheat Festival and got the Buckwheat Oh, and cakes. we did. Maybe we'll all try to, if I remember, I will link that in here. And if I don't, we'll be going again this year, probably in September, so you can watch it then. So if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Yeah, so until we meet again, J&B have, have left the, the building. building.